Howdy folks. So if you've watched my last few videos, you would have uh, seen me talking about that uh, dangerous Chinese uh, mains cable. Now, uh, one of the things that I found in that cable was that the uh, live and neutral pins uh, were reversed in that cable. And I mentioned that this was a uh, quite a serious potential safety risk, and you may be wondering why. Now, uh, I made uh, quite a long video, about half an hour, um, which I posted to my second channel if you want to watch um, my full explanation for this. Uh, but uh, if you don't have that kind of time, uh, I'm going to give you uh, just a real world uh, example. Uh, and I'm going to do that with my hair dryer here. So my hair dryer has a, it has a permanent cable, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, this is a polarized plug, um, which means that uh, one of the pins is larger than the other. This is the neutral and this is the live. And uh, the idea is that this should only go in an outlet one way. And uh, of course, uh, mains is AC, which means of course it alternates between positive and negative. So the, uh, the question that most people will ask is, well, if I were to plug this in the wrong way, wouldn't it just still work perfectly fine? And uh, the answer is yes, it would work perfectly fine, but it becomes a little bit less safe. And uh, to explain this, I'm going to use my multimeter. So in uh, this, heat, uh, in this um, hair dryer, there's a heating element, which of course you can see uh, the coils deep down in there. Now, let's say uh, that the hair dryer was off, so the switch was off, um, but it was plugged in and for some reason you accidentally stuck something in there and you managed to touch one of those coils. Well, if the coils are on the hot side, um, so basically there's a circuit in here, of course, it goes from the plug through a switch to the coils and then back out to the plug. So one, one half of the circuit will be switched by the switch and the other half will just be constantly connected to these coils. So Obviously, as you can sort of imagine, if you connect the hot to the coils, and you even if this is off and you touch those coils, you're going to get shocked. But if these are connected to the neutral, then uh, only when the hairdryer is actually on will you get a shock uh, by touching those coils. So it's done for a safety measure, at least in this particular appliance. Um, other, uh, there are other reasons why um, they're, uh, they're polarized in other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my meter here and I'm going to um, to prove to you that this is wired correctly. So I'm just on uh, ohms range right here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the um, the live so let's first of all let's turn it off. Okay, so the hairdryer is off. I'm going to connect the live pin to the uh, heater, heating element in here and we shouldn't see any um, there we go. So you see it's still open. So I'm basically, I'm isolated from live through the switch of the hairdryer. Now if I were to flip this around and uh, I were to check the neutral, I should see continuity to the heating element in here. And you can see there we do. We see, uh, you know, a couple, in this case, a couple hundred kilohms. But yeah, so it's connected through the neutral to the uh, heating element, but not uh, not the live to the heating element. So this hair dryer is wired correctly, and you can test uh, appliances like this. Um, a toaster, for example, is another example I give in my uh, my other video. Um, the heating elements, a lot of things with heating elements will be wired this way, uh, just so that if you touch the heating element, um, you have a less less of a chance of getting shocked. And uh, the reason why uh, touching the neutral is uh, safer than touching the live is because the neutral at some point in your house is tied to the electrical earth uh, ground. It's, it's tied to something that goes into the ground. And of course, since you're standing on the ground, you are at very close to the potential of the, of the neutral. And another thing that you can do uh, if you have a multimeter is you can test um, to see if your outlets are wired correctly. And um, this is actually not a bad thing, especially if you're renting a house or something and you're not entirely sure how competent the person who installed the outlets is um, because, of course, there's nothing that stops um, just some guy's friend from installing the, uh, the outlets in your house who may have no idea what um, live and neutral are. It's sad, but it, it does happen. So if you take your multimeter and you put it on AC volt and uh, we connect between the uh, neutral and the live... 
we should see mains voltage in this case. In my case is 114.6, which is what we would expect. Now, if we check between ground and neutral, we expect to see a voltage that is incredibly low um, because, of course, these two are tied together at some point in the mains wiring. And you can see um, I'm seeing about 1 point, about 1.1 1 .1 volts or so. Jumps around a bit because the uh, ground connection isn't terribly great. But uh, the highest voltage that I'm seeing is about 1.1 volts or so. So really not that, uh, there we go, 1.1 volts. So if you were to touch the neutral in this instance, um, you probably wouldn't get a shock. Don't do it though, bad idea. So this is very hard to get, this, uh, to get these probes to both stick, but uh, I'm in between uh, live and ground, and I have 115 volts, so I have... Um, full mains voltage between ground and live. So of course, as you can sort of uh, expect, I'm standing on the ground, I'm at reference to the ground. Um, so if, of course, if I touch something that's live, um, that's not gonna be a, a very fun day. So yeah, you should see basically nothing between these two are very low, and you should see um, something quite high between these two. If you see the opposite of that, then that means that live and neutral are reversed in the outlet, in which case you should hire an electrician or reverse those yourself if you feel competent, um, because that is uh, definitely not safe. Because you're plugging in, you know, equipment that is polarized, that's designed to only go in one way, but um, it's actually being reversed. So uh, that is uh, definitely something that I, you know, if you have a multimeter and you're not quite sure about uh, about an outlet, it's probably not a bad idea to check. So anyway, hopefully, uh, uh, yeah. If you want to find out a bit more about stuff, uh, go to my second channel and see that video. Um, it's sort of one of those uh, drawing on the computer kind of videos. Um, so I know some people definitely won't like that. That's why I didn't post it on this channel. But anyway, hopefully this was uh, helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.